His swing and his stance, the word that always comes to me, primal. Hunter Pence with a two-run shot and a three-to-nothing first inning lead in game one. It's all about how you finish, but it's amazing how some guy can pull off a hitting stance like that. Nothing I do is really conventional, but I find a way to get it done. Uh, but it was, it was based off of a Barry Bonds poster I had as a kid. And as I grew up, it just became comfortable, so I just stayed there. And I was really small when I was younger, and so it was cool for the leadoff hitter to choke up. No one really changed that. And then I grew up and got a little bigger, and I just kept choking up. You know, sometimes one of the, a couple of the coaches would be like, you're 6'4", you need to get on the end of the bat and, you know, drive the ball. And I'm like, well, you know, this is how I've always hit, and I, I feel like I drive the ball all right. Coming in at number 18, Moises Alou. Swung on it. professional hitter. A man can just flat out hit. Uh, he loves the game of baseball. Uh, goes out there and plays the game the right way. And uh, he's just a great guy to have on a team because uh, he can hit and enjoys the game. A professional hitter indeed. While Alou's stance doesn't scream power hitter, looks can be deceiving. Alou launched 332 homers over his 17-year career and earned his spot on our countdown. Coming in at number 17, it's Mickey Tettleton. Well, I'll tell you what, Dave Henderson not going to get this one. Boy, Tettleton put it almost on the roof. Wow. How about Mickey Tettleton, switch hitting, power hitting catcher of a generation or so ago. From either side of the plate, he held the bat down low, the knob of the bat just about at belt level, and the top of the bat concealed behind his back shoulder. You could barely see the top of it before he unleashed his swing, but it worked. He had some big ears. Gamble, a notorious low ball header. Hits that high in the air to deep right center. To the wall they go looking, it's gone. But one swing of the bat and you're tied at two. One of the biggest things that stood out about the stance was that big fro that he had. I wish I could grow my hair that long because that made it amazing. But when you take a deep look at his stance, he was deep into his legs and used that as a good foundation to let the rest of the swing work. If you think of a house, the foundation is the key. You can have all the amazing things up top, the windows, the roof, everything, but if that foundation isn't strong, that house is gonna fall and collapse. The same thing with the swing. He was deep into his legs, he had a nice strong base, which allowed the swing to work. You know, used to love Rod Carew's batting stance because his bat was never way behind him. He kind of kept it out there, you know, right, you know, sort of not too far back with his shoulder, which allowed him to slap the ball around really, really well. Well, you know, when I was in that in, in, in that stance, after I had perfected it, uh, I knew that I couldn't stand straight up, so I immediately got down in my stance, and it allowed me to stay on the ball a lot better. It allowed me to stop chasing balls up in the zone that I know that I knew that I couldn't handle. So it forced me to really, you know, stay in a low low position and uh, just forced the pitchers to bring the ball down. So once they start bringing fastballs down, you know, I was able to handle those pitches with, with a lot more ease. Most unique and crazy batting stance I've ever seen, Kevin Euclid. You remember that one, bro, where he'd hold like on the top of the bat and then he'd slowly like inch his way down to the, to the handle of the bat? I never knew how he did that, but that was his timing mechanism. Listen, you had a tremendous career, and if that's what it took for him to be successful, then that's exactly what he did. So I would definitely say one of the more unique batting stances in the game, the Craig Councils of the world for sure, but somebody I played against, Kevin Euclid, no doubt about it. It's different. You know, you kind of look at it and go, how did you think of that? <laughs> you know? Uh, he has that type of batting stance. I mean, he has the bat over his head. He's pulling the head of the barrel of the bat right at the pitcher, and the next thing you know, his hands drop, and he's hitting the ball. I mean, it just shows you that you can do almost anything <laughs> before you hit the ball. But if you get in that good hitting position, and when that pitch comes, you know, you're going to be able to do a lot of damage, and he does that.